Arabian state-run oil company has cut its October pricing for its Arab light crude oil for Asian buyers, according to a fresh price list released on Friday. Saudi Aramaco has cut its Arab light crude oil by 70 cents, the price list showed. The news comes as Brent crude prices fell even further, trading at $71.49 per barrel. So let us come to the facts table. African countries, hmm? leaders in Africa, please emulate leaders like Ibrahim Touare, the president in Mali, the president in Niger, even the president in Burkina Faso and Guinea. Because the earlier African countries start building the appropriate infrastructures to be able to extract their natural resources themselves, be able to transform these raw minerals into finished goods and start exporting these finished goods to any parts of the world they want until we get to that level. We are not going anywhere. As long as we keep inviting other people to come and have total control, come and process our raw materials, our raw minerals, we are not going anywhere. Because the area we start building these infrastructures is going to provide jobs. And the earlier we start doing it ourselves is going to rewrite a whole lot of narratives that these foreign companies, these foreign people that are coming into our countries to extract our minerals, to take it to their country, to turn it into finished goods, a whole lot of revelations will start coming out. We will start finding out ways these people have been ripping us off for years. Uh, because some of those things they told us that they are waste, some of them can be used in producing and making other things that will make life of our people much easier than it is in some countries. So the earlier our people stop depending on oil, there's a whole lot of natural minerals Africa have. The earlier we start building companies, equipping these companies with modern day technologies to be able to extract these minerals and make sure that they are not posing risk to the health of our people because that is important too. The health of our people is very, very important. We must make sure we produce a conducive environment where we have the appropriate infrastructures built in Africa managed by Africans, operated by Africans. It is until then that our continent will stop depending on oil. We have a whole lot of minerals. What don't we have? We have everything. We have the human capital. We even have the human strength for the ones that you cannot use technology to do. Our people, our body structure is built in a way that even marvels the Oibo themselves the kind of strength we have. So the earlier we start trading on this part, it is until then that the Africa that the West can compete with will emerge. And how can we do this? It is also when we are united as a people.